This video is dedicated to the Comfy Knee channel. So if you don't know who he is, maybe you should look up his channel first. And if you don't know what knee and word he means, you should look that up too. Comfy Knee was my inspiration. I can see through his desperation. And I know his lack of motivation. And today, I'll fix the situation. <laughs> For real, no cap. <laughs> As a comfy wagey, I live in the moment. I don't wagey because all day I'm laid back. I hop needs escape the basement, and if I fail, there's no money back. So today, I would just quickly talk about the different type of jobs you could work comfortably at home. So it requires uh, low effort. You just require maybe some uh, social skills, but <laughs> well. Usually not that much of it. Yeah, it's just telephone surveying. So what happens is uh, you work for a polling company, let's say uh, AppSauce, and so you just do some surveys uh, for the provincial and uh, local governments. A few, a few weeks ago, I got a survey that took maybe 20, 30 minutes to complete. So it seems a pretty comfortable job to just um, call people up and if they answer, you just ask them some questions. And um, there's also uh, customer support. So there are lots of uh, Canadian companies are only hiring Canadians now. Um, for example, uh, when I call Rogers, uh, they just um, explicitly said this, like all their agents are living in Toronto, so working in Toronto. So I guess that's that seems to it seems nice, but it probably wouldn't pay that well. There's also the 911 call centers. Uh, it requires you to be bilingual. Um, when, when last time I checked, I think it's a uh, maybe fifty thousand dollar a year job. Seems nice. And you can probably work from home. Um, yeah, you just have to forward the calls and uh, respond accordingly. But yeah, there's also uh, data type, uh, data entry type jobs, but. With this domination that's going on, I'm not, I'm not sure if that's still relevant. So we're just going to talk about my own work experience. Um, when I graduated in 2019, I was uh, lucky enough to find a job within a few months of graduating. Uh, worked for a fruit-related company. <laughs> the job, uh, it was less work than I expected. Like, everything was already automated. And... I only work for a few hours every day. I spend most of my time doing my extracurricular activities. And, well, the place doesn't like any amenities, but I had to quit out of necessity because I was in my go-getter phase. So I looked for another opportunity. <laughs> well, once I got into the new company, I realized the grass can't always be greener. And that's when the coping started. So uh, I started my own coding project. It's uh, it's just some sort of cryptocurrency analysis tool, but it's uh, it was just a futile effort because nobody, no company ever cares about my coding projects. And whenever I go on interviews, they don't really ask about it. And I also play lots of video games. Some some days I just spend maybe twelve hours a day, <laughs> pretty much a full time job. And that's when I reached the peak dopamine saturation. And the more I play, it's just like the more depressed I get because it just doesn't uh, doesn't give me the hit anymore. And um, it just uh, the whole process just uh, starts to make me think, you know, who am I? Where am I headed? And uh, so I just have some uncertainties about my future. So I'll show you where I'm headed. So I will show you what I'm working on right now. I'm working on a torrent search engine. Uh, it's uh, meant to replace the Power Bay because the Power Bay keeps getting censored, you know. Got removed from Google search, uh, was uh, temporarily delisted from DuckDuckGo at one point. So, like right now it's just a work in progress. Uh, it's maybe done maybe 10, 20% of the implementation. And you can see there's no memory leaks. <laughs> so I'll show you around my uh, 
This is a chicken my friend gave me for my birthday. It's nice. I have some uh, Burger, King, Burger King coupons that I uh, use occasionally. And uh, here's my uh, Nerf gun. <laughs> Self-defense purposes. So yeah, it's uh, good so far. And maybe in the next video I will go on about like uh, my criticisms of uh, Comfy Neat. So until then, stay tuned.